There we have a zinc plate. It's covered with soft ground. It's a special technique by etchings. You have to cover the plate in paper and on the paper you can do your drawing with a pencil. And the pencil makes pressure on the paper and the paper goes in the soft ground. And then you have your drawing on the plate in the soft ground. I hope you can see in the camera. And now we are here in the place where I want to etch the plate. That's the etching path. It's iron chloride and maybe we can see it. It becomes darker by etching. It starts maybe after 30 seconds gets dark. Maybe I can show you now. It gets darker here. Normally I have to etch these plates for maybe five to eight minutes and you can stop the etching only with water and you can do also some parts darker and some parts lighter. You can cover with the asphalt some parts and then you can go for a second or a third etching. And so here it becomes deeper, darker in the print, and here it's lighter. I'm not sure you can see in the camera, but now there are, it gets a little bit red and that's the etched thing. It's a little bit red and now we have to wash it out. because it's not so good when the etched parts are in the bath so we have already we have always to clean the plate during the etching it looks in this way and we have to put the plate in the bath second and the third time okay so and the other part is in the other studio. My name is Erik Neunteufel and I'm from Austria. We are here in the August and uh, I started here with watercolor paintings and it was also very important for me to do some drawings outside and first you had a look to the studio where I can etch my plates and you can see it here all the drawings and the plates also and in the middle of the time I found a very funny picture a photo I will show you and now I want to and so now I want to change to get a bus driver in Iceland, but maybe if it's possible in the 1970s. It's this picture. And I started with head studies, you can see it here. And 
it's for a bigger work and the bigger work is named 